This is the cheapest apartment anywhere in New York City. It's in a brand new luxury tower. And it comes with this thing, which is actually really comfortable. But best of all, this only costs $397. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get an apartment just like this. Today's apartment is right here in Long Island City. And even though today's place is cheap, it's a fantastic neighborhood with easy access to Manhattan. Seriously, look how close we are. Your commute won't be long at all. Your morning commute, if it starts at this train, that's where your breakfast is coming from. It's busy inside, and look at that. They also spread love and hummus. Who doesn't agree with spreading hummus? Other than that construction, this block is fantastic. Look at all these little shops and businesses. You got a little ramen hut right here. Next to it, there's this place, which is so authentic, you can't even read the menu. This looks like one of those places where you can buy weird stuff for your place. But good news, only beautiful people shop here to buy this red swirly thing, that face, and this horse with the crazy eyes. That's the antique store, and then look at this restaurant restaurant, more restaurants, and across the street, more uh, restaurants and cafes. And I think the only reason it's not slammed now is because we are here in the morning. Our building is one of these towers, not those, it's a little further down, but look at this. Fantastic view, everything right there. You can see the Chrysler building. There's the Empire State right over there. You can even take the ferry, which will bring you right in. And there's this really cool sign you can admire of a brand of cola that some people love and some people hate. Is Coke better than Pepsi? Or are they the exact same thing? That's it. I can't believe there's something in here for under 500 bucks a month. That is absolutely insane. And the great news is there's more than one of these available and we're gonna see how to get one. These amenities are outstanding. This is actually one of the nicest buildings you could live in anywhere, and it's hard to believe that this is like affordable. This is like a co-working lounge, kind of like a WeWork. There's a conference room. This would be the background for a Zoom call or something. You could get a little bit of work maybe done from a position like this. But look at that, there's even a kitchen with a dishwasher. So what probably can also happen down here is you could use this for a party. Okay, I don't know if you're supposed to jump into this thing like that, but this is cool. It's kind of like a swinging tree house. That's probably not the right way to describe this. And then look at this, right over here at the waterfront, One World Trade. And you don't have to work in the financial center to afford this place. Where are we going? Roof? Is this where you take your lunch break? <laughs> this is fantastic. This is the entire city unobstructed, probably from the best angle anywhere. Right over there you got One World Trade, and then you can work on your tan if you're not me. I'm already getting fried out here. Now you see this other tower over here? This is related to the complex that we're in, and that's where the gym is. It's not done yet or else we'd be in there. Hello world, look at that. Might need some sunscreen in here. Okay, this studio, 15 by 20 excluding the bathroom. That's a really good amount of space. People are paying over 3,000 for stuff like this. But right now, depending on your income, you can get this one for 397 bucks. The way that affordable apartments get done in new buildings like this is the price that you pay is related to how much you earn. That way it's a fair deal for everybody no matter what their income level is. I'd put the bed against the windows. Then over here you could have an entertainment center. And then over here in this area you could have a kitchen table and maybe some other furniture.
Can you believe this place has a dishwasher? Whirlpool too. Sink looks pretty good. There's counter space for a couple appliances. And look at that, we got a nice full size oven and a microwave. General electric fridge, not bad. This is the closet. Pretty good, considering only one person's probably gonna live here. This can clean your entire body, except what's inside your mind. But it's nice to see a luxury bathroom, even in the cheapest place in the entire building. Look at this, we've even got a little handle on the medicine cabinet so you can get to your medicine, or your toothbrush if that's where you keep it. How much is this two bed? It starts from 593 to 3100. Okay, we've seen this before, that's good. Now I thought we were gonna see laundry in potentially the more expensive units, but there's actually a laundry room on the fourth floor of this building. But look at this place, we got the kitchen down there and one of those awesome views. This is like exactly what we had from the roof facing the city. You can even put little things on this little ledge and have the light shine through here and hit your kitchen. Okay. Bigger dishwasher, but that makes sense. It's a bigger apartment. Presumably, you will have more dishes since this place has two beds. After you come in over here, you've got a closet. This is very similar to what we had in the studio. And then you've got this nice, big, separate living space. This will fit a couch and a kitchen table. Easy. And then around the corner here, facing south, we've got one, two big bedrooms. This is gonna be sunny pretty much all the time. And it looks like everything here has shades, which is a good feature. This room is big. I can see a king size bed in here. Check this out, even the smaller of the two rooms, still really good. No complaints on the view, put your bed right over there. This is almost as much living space in this unit as we had in the studio. It's gorgeous. Look at that view. So we're in one of the one bedrooms. Okay. Starting at $503 to $25.93. So a little bit cheaper than the two bed. Mm -hmm. It looks like we've got the same kitchen here that we had in the two bedroom, almost identical. But I think the common space is better because right over here, you got that perfect little kitchen table. And look at how cozy this setup with the couch looks. You got the window right over there. You got an extra little chair and that could be your TV. Check out this little cabinet right here. This is like such a good idea for a small apartment. Store stuff everywhere. Why did it shut like that? Kind of freaked me out. As far as the view, we are facing east, so we aren't really looking at a whole lot except sky, which is fine by me. Over here, we have a little utility closet. This is probably gonna be good for jackets. The bathroom is this guy, which no surprises here, it's also an excellent bath. And shout out to whoever did the staging. Look at that, they got actual toothbrushes. I don't know if they're soft enough for humans to use safely. You should always get a soft toothbrush. But I think the really cool thing here is the way that they have this bedroom set up. This just looks super, super cozy. And it's also a nice size. And with this tiny little bed right here, it actually makes it look even bigger. I would get something that comes way further out. That's just me. All the windows here have the exact same view. And even though that's like nice and rectangular, there's another little section here because we've got this interesting corner. I love how they're just using these little geometric oddities, I guess you could call them, to like put in cool things like closets. And I think this one's definitely one of the more interesting layouts. So Hardeep, if people want to live here, what do they, what hoops of fire do they have to jump through? Well, if you have a household income of 16,000 to 273,000, visit GothamPointLottery.com. And there's two towers. We pointed at the other one that has the gym. That one has a separate lottery. If somebody applies for that, are they blocked from applying for this? Can they apply for both? What do you have to do? Well, if an applicant already applied here at the South Tower, we ask them to visit GothamPointLottery.com and apply at the North Tower. Could you get approved for two apartments and then Airbnb one of them to your friends? Fortunately not cash. <laughs> That's not allowed. I don't, I don't want to live here. That's it. <laughs> Hope you guys had fun. Subscribe if you did and then pick another video. I'll see you soon, and good luck with the lottery.